Hey, Jeff Howard here, PKS Distribution, and I want to talk about seal replacement in your pumps and some maintenance that you can do. Now, in the GRI pump, and if you're wondering if you have a GRI pump, the most things is look at the bottom, and down here on the foot plate in one of these little squares, it's this one here, it says GRI. It's almost basically every pump out there that any manufacturer's been using in the last couple years. These things are fantastic. They will last you a long time. They're double action pumps. You just need to do some maintenance on them, and a lot of people do not ever do it. They just complain that the pump fails, but they don't care to do some maintenance, which doesn't cost you a whole lot when these things are in the $50 and $60 range. You can see here, here's Crazy Flies, GRI pump, all the shaping. It has the gauge on the top. Here's Cabrina, same pump, different gauge. They put the logos in here and everything else. Um, and also doesn't matter the size, so you'll have the short and the tall. What we have is a seal kit. So these are the two seals that are the most important that wear out on this pump. And this is a kit, it's easy to get. You'll get these little uh, gaskets here, these scrapers that are the dual scraper inside of the pump on the piston. And this is the main wear and tear. This won't begin to fail. This one is up in the handle up above here that seals off the shaft from the very top of the pump. It's a very easy job to do, doing it once in a while, putting some new seals in if you have any problems. This is the way to do it. Get one of these seal kits. It comes with the two seals. I'm just gonna show you. What you wanna have is some white lithium grease. This is what they recommend. I have an alcohol bottle. You want some paper towel or an old rag, but alcohol. Get everything cleaned out of the pump. So once you undo it, you're gonna unscrew the top like this. And I've already undo, done a couple screws that are up inside of here. So once you pull this out, you're gonna get the main seal shaft down inside you're going to see this is uh, just a cleared out area and you want to get down in there and clean it. Uh, you can use your hand. Some people get down there with paper towel, get them more paper towels and a towel and make sure that is clean. This is where it packs in with the sand and it gradually starts scraping the inside of the cylinder and wears these pumps out. So this is the main piston here and you want to make sure that your one-way flapper valves are all good and you can see those down inside of here. And those usually don't fail. Those don't get changed out. They usually stay in there. But if one has fallen off, if your pump is only pumping in one direction, look down inside of there. You may find that one-way valve in there. But what you have are the two seals. So this is the main one. And it's easy just to put some pressure on this and peel this up. Once you get this edge, this seal will come right off of here. This is still a good pump, so I'm not gonna take it completely off, but it has a groove that it fits in. You wanna make sure it's in that narrow groove. Look at it, make sure you get it in the right one. What happens is, is these seals gradually relax, and then it doesn't wanna pump one direction or the other, and both sides of the seal are very important. The other seal that takes a little bit more work is right here on the shaft. I've already removed the screws, but if you look up inside of here, there are two screws up in here. It takes a Phillips head screwdriver, and what you want to do is hang on to your piston and unscrew your handle. And you'll have this all and screw off here. It's pretty simple and easy. Again, this tube in here may be attached to your handle and it may be down inside. So it doesn't matter. It's all pressure fit. So if that comes out, just slide that back down in there and you can pressure fit it. You can feel it slip in. It'll automatically do it when you screw on the handle. So what you want to do is get all this cleaned off. So once you remove the top part, you're going to have, this is the one part I've taken the two screws out. This usually stays up inside of there. You want to clean all the shaft off here, get all this nice and clean, get all the sand out of here, scrape it down using alcohol. It's a perfect deal. Clean out the inside of your tube, and then you want to get up inside of here, and you're going to remove the two Phillips head screwdrivers right here. That seal is right up here. Notice its direction. You want that opening on the bottom there, or the smooth part goes up, or the opening is down here, and that allows that seal, when you're coming up, it scrapes that shaft. So it's very easy to reach in here, pull it out, get it all lubed back up, get it clean, and then when you go to lube it back up, just be generous. Get some of this stuff. Make sure it's completely coated. You can always wipe off with what, uh, what you need to later. But reinstall that seal. Once you get it clean and lubed, put your two screws back in. Then you're going to spread some more lube. You want to lube all the, the shaft and the inside of the cylinder really well. Get all this stuff covered. It'll keep all the corrosion down. And if it ever gets any sand in there, but uh, it'll keep it in that area. 
but you don't want it running dry. That will actually burn out this seal really fast and very easy. So get it all completely coated. Then you want to get the top seal back in your cover. Make sure this, ho this uh, pipe is right in the center there. It'll center up in there. Get this screwed back on. And it's just a snug fit. Don't just wrench this down. Get a good little snug fit in there and that's good enough. Now that you have your screws back in and you get your piston, put some more lube around here, some lithium grease. Get all the inside, lube from the top to the bottom. Leave a little bit on the top edge so when you start to pump, it'll come down, it'll uh, push it down inside of there. Now, seating this seal takes sometimes takes a little bit, and you want to work your way around with your fingers, rubbing along the seal's edge until it wants to drop down in there. When you put a new one in, they're good and snug. So, running your nail around making sure that seal gets in there it can be a little tough just take your time and work it there it is and once it's in there right you'll feel how easy it is for that to go down in it seals up and you see uh, it's got a good seal to it because it just drops down slowly snug your snug your top back on and voila you're ready for another well another while to the season depends on where you're at sandy beaches and stuff will get a lot of sand in there so make sure you try to keep these things clean and they'll last you for years i've seen these things last a long time you just got to get that regular maintenance on it anyway that's jeff howard here at pks uh, to show you uh, the seal kit and how to rebuild a gri pump Hey, Jeff Howard here. I appreciate you watching the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. That really helps us out and keeps people watching the videos. Have a great day.